We just got some boxes from UPS, from K-Series Parts. Let's see what we got. That's the fuel pump. So we ordered uh, a wall barrel right here. This is the part number right there. Wall barrel 255 uh, fuel pump for the Integra GSRB 18C1. And this is the kit to go with it with the new sock and all the lines and everything like that. So you have to order this with that. This is the pigtail. So we have to splice into the factory harness for the pigtail for the World Barrel 255. We got uh, ARP bolt and uh, studs for the head. So these will be a lot better than the ones that we had. This thing right here. Super oh. Tech Head Gasket for the B18C1 off K-Series. Quality components built for high performance applications. Yes. Performance this is, starts this here. This is what we needed. So this is the part number that we ordered right here. High performance head gasket for the B18C1. So this one will be much better and it's a little bit thinner so we'll get more, uh, we'll get more compression. <laughs> So unfortunately, when me and Corey built the motor, we used a 81 millimeter th uh, head gasket from Felpro, and uh, the the pistons are bored over, so we shouldn't have been using 81 millimeter. So that's right, we're gonna have to take the head off. So we started draining the coolant right here. So we got it up in the air. We started draining the coolant here. We got this coolant hose off here for the upper radiator hose. We got the lower radiator hose off there, so that's just dripping right now. So once that stops dripping, we'll put that back on there. We'll lower the car, and then we'll take it off again, and then we'll get whatever's left in the engine out of there because we're not drain the coolant. The car's been sitting for about a week, so we're good on oil, and coolant should be all pretty much all down. It shouldn't be through the motor, so we're good there. We undisconnected. We disconnected the battery here. We got the cold air intake out right here. So we got that. Um, this radiator hose is the upper one right here with the coolant temp sensor. So um, we're gonna have to rewire this because this came out right there. We're gonna have to rewire it. Just take this off of here and put it back in here. But that that's fine, okay? We're gonna have to drop the exhaust. We're gonna have to take off the fuel rail, the fuel injectors, everything that we just did <laughs> and no leaks. And now guess what? <laughs> We're gonna have to take it all apart. We'll pull, I wanna pull the distributor, but I wanna mark it first right here. So give me a little Sharpie. So what you wanna do is when you take these off, if you ever do wanna do a head gasket or something like that, and you got this time, which is 16 degrees, okay, it's factory, 16 degrees, because when we tuned it, it's 16 degrees. So we just gotta mark right here. And then do a little mark right there, like that. So when you take it off of there, we'll be good to put it somewhat back in time. And we have a timing gun, so we can check it, double check it, make sure. But right there, so you line it up when you take it off of there. Corey's taking off the ground for the valve cover right there. So just put that bolt back in there. So we're going to get the valve cover off. We got to take these four and then those four, those four right there. We can pull the valve cover off. We got to pull the VTEC solenoid right here. So we got to pull this one out. So we'll do this one right there and this one right here. And I think that's it. I think there's just those two bolts right here. This holds the solenoid on the top. So we don't need to take this off because I had to rewire this because of the, the thing broke. The connector broke off of it. So I had to splice into it with some uh, heat shrink. So we'll just take it off of there and then we'll just lay it over here just like we did this, okay? So we gotta get that coolant. Yep, gotta get that coolant hose off of there. It's still, uh, it's still dripping a little bit there. And this goes to the throttle body right there. You can see this hose right here he's taking off, goes right here, goes to the T and then goes here. So we're gonna clean all this up. We're gonna replace all these ones right here that are long. We're gonna replace them with short ones because this one's long, this one's long, that one's long, and it kind of looks bad. Let's get this distributor off of here. We're gonna still gonna leave it plugged in. 
We're going to leave it right here. We're just going to set it off to the side so we can put it right in. Spark plugs are still be connected. Before we take off the distributor, I started taking out the bolts and I noticed that we didn't put it in top dead center. So we got to put it top dead center with number one piston. Make sure the cams are straight up. Make sure that the crank's good and make sure everything is in top dead center before you pull the valve cover. And well, we're gonna pull the valve cover before we pull the distributor because we wanna make sure that it is in top dead center so we can line everything back up when we put everything back together, okay? So we need a 12 millimeter for these right here. Those are 12 millimeter and then the Allen for those four right there. And we'll get those off and we'll get this valve cover out of here. And then we'll put it in top dead center and I'll show you the cams in top dead center and everything. And then our gates racing belt. So we did a timing belt, a gates racing timing belt. Here, hand me that. Yeah. And putting putting put put everything putting everything right in this little cup here. Should be able to pull the valve cover off now. Should be good to go. Should be able to get underneath it. Just pull her off of there. We got the distributor out. So we unhooked it. We got it marked sitting over there. Got the valve cover over there. Got that good. All the coolant lines are good. Off the coolant neck. We left the VTEC solenoid right here, so we just took off the solenoid. We're going to replace the gasket because there was a little bit of oil coming off from here, so I think that's another part of our problem. But other than that, we got the 14 millimeter for the tensioner. We got it loosened up. We got the belt off, so we got it hanging right there for a minute. So we're going to get ready and pull these uh, the cam caps and all these right here. Get these off of here. We'll pull the cams. We'll mark them. As we're pulling them off so make sure that we're good you see that that cam is almost straight up and down so that is top dead center for number one piston okay we took the spark plugs out got the spark plugs out of there we got that good to go so we started pulling off the exhaust bolts right here so we started pulling off those we got it tightened up right there just because we we're trying to get the three bolts out of the um the header it's a four two to one so we're trying to get where the coupling is for the four two to one. We got the two out, but the one on that side is uh, not wanting to come out. It's stuck. So we sprayed it with some PB Blaster. We're letting that set. We'll probably let it set till tomorrow, and then we'll pull that part. We got the power steering off right here. So we just took this bolt off here and this bolt, and then the bolt that tightens it up, the tensioner. So we got that off. So that's just sitting there. We didn't drain it or anything. So I think we're good. Let's get these off and uh, let's get these cams out of here. We'll get those off of there. We'll get the cams out of there and then we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to work where the injectors and everything in the fuel rail and all that stuff. Let's get this off and then uh, we'll start in the back. Let's try to get this done. Speed wrench. Speed wrench go. Speed wrench go. 12 millimeter. Go. No. Go. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Nope, he's still not ready yet. All right. Told you they were 12. This way. Huh? This way. This way? Nope. That way. There we go. Okay, go. Well, we're still working on the head. We got the header off right there. We got the three bolts out. We got the header off right there. That still looks good. But the gasket that we replaced, the three one right here, you can tell it burned it. It burned it right right through here. Here's, look at this. The... Just right there is good. But right here, look at this. You can tell that it burned it right through. So we need to get a new uh, gasket. We made this gasket because we couldn't find the right one. But I think we're going to have to call Megan Racing and see if they can uh, see if we can look one up and order one. 
because this is not working. This is the, uh, the sheet that we got to uh, make a gasket, and we tried to make one. I mean, it fit good, but you can tell. And then you can tell on here, too, when you look at it, you can tell that it uh, where it was black. That's where the exhaust is coming out. So There's also carbon all over the I heard a little exhaust leak, too, and I had it tightened up, but yeah, so... That's going to affect our AFR too yeah. and our tuning. I already got the injectors unplugged right here. So these four right here. So I wired these up and did some heat shrink. And then I taped them so they look real good. And then I did this black um, wiring uh, harness thingy right here. So make it look nice because it was, it was just all, it was just a bunch of wires like that. So I think it looks nice. They unclipped really good too. So I did a good job doing this. It looks clean. So, so next we need to... Um, we need to go in here, right here, there's a bolt and there, there's a bolt. And then one right down here, there's a bolt. So there's three bolts holding this down. We have some spacers in here. So don't forget when we pull this out to pull the spacers out, hopefully we can get this out like this and we'll only have, um, we'll only have the injectors leaking and not from here because I don't want to redo this line because I, I had a hard time trying to get that not to leak. Remember? Yeah. We had to change the we had to change the fitting from the dash six and we had to change this one to one of these because the one that came with it. Same thing with this. We had to change this one too. So we got the banjo bolt basically for the fuel line here. But eventually we want to do this line like this all the way all the way to the fuel pump. And then the return line also off the fuel pressure regulator. We want to go the return line that way back to the fuel pump. So we'll have a six A N and then a 6 a.m. back. I think either 6 a.m. or 8 or 8. I don't know what they say, but I'll have to look it up. But that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to start getting this fuel rail off. All right, so we got everything off. We got the fuel rail undone right here like this. We got all the bolts out. So we did the extended studs with the thermal gasket. You can see right there. Let me, uh, let's see. All right, so now you can see we got the thermal gasket in there. We had to do the extended studs. For the intake so we got that all good to go we got all the bolts out we got the thing loose it's back enough to where we can pull the head straight off now so we're good nothing else should be uh well these ones over here pull that that way we need to get this one off of here this one off and then we need to unplug this one Okay, so those two are good. I need to redo this wiring right here. So I'm going to redo this before we put everything back on. I had to redo the coolant temp sensor. So, and then we need to clean up this one because you can see that it's very oily from when the um, when the distributor was leaking. Okay, so we'll clean all that up. Okay, next one we need to get is we got this one. So we need to get this one right here. All right, everything's off. We got all the bolts out. Right there, all the bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're good. Okay, got everything off there. Everything's off over here. Okay, so we're leaking coolant out of there. We got a little uh, thing right here, and we got a thing here to catch a little bit of coolant coming out. We should be good. I'm going to hold this part out a little bit as we lift up, but we should be good to be able to lift. We can lift from here too. So this thing is actually loose. Ugh. All right, you ready to lift her off there? Yep. And see what the valves look like on the other side. I want to see what those look like and uh, see what the pistons look like. And then we'll see what that gasket looks like. It's a Felpro. You can tell it's starting to leak right there, but we got a pan. We got a pan right down there. Yep, she's starting to leak a little bit. How about we just let her, let her leak a little bit so there won't be so much coming out when we pull the head off, you know? Be oil and stuff. Yeah, we just want to make sure. The oil is already we just want to make sure that we don't get that all. Uh... Is it actually dripping in there? Yeah. And not on the floor. There we go. Not on the ground. <laughs>